Welcome back to the neighborhood, boys and girls. And we have another special guest. Currently, the reigning intercontinental tri-state team sales leader, MVP champion, Vicente Gutierrez. Thank you, thank you. No problem. Yeah. Vince, welcome to the show here. Welcome to the neighborhood. Uh, you are new to the mortgage industry. Tell everybody in the neighborhood just how you came about becoming the first honorary champion of the sales force in the pit. Honestly, it was trusting in your friends, family, and coworkers. Um, put my trust in them, learning from you and other salespeople here like John Kennedy and, and uh, Benito Gonzalez and a few other people who are always there with me. You guys have been a great asset for me and it really shows when you put the work and the effort into it. This is what happens. How did it feel to crush Andy Tom? Amazing. That is amazing, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really is. There is a little bit of a, a little rivalry going on here. Uh, how do you compare the environment and the culture in the pit out there versus your previous experiences since you're kind of new to Onboard Mortgage? Uh, it's good. It's a great learning environment. Being around, listening to everybody's either struggles or triumphs. Um, just having that experience in there is huge. Um, you know, in the beginning I had my struggles as well and other people learn from it, but the struggle breeds, you know, uh, competence. It makes you more confident, makes you understand like, all right, here's a situation that Ben might have went through or Sydney might have went through and, you know, you just learn from it and build upon that. Nice, nice. And uh, in case the, the people out in the neighborhood are wondering, what does, what does Vince do uh, with his free time to get rid of the stress and, and all the aggravation of being a top flight loan officer? Uh, playing sports. Okay. So playing ice hockey, street hockey. Thanks to you, I got back into it. Nice. You kind of forced me into it, and, uh, you know, it, it was a good thing. It was, it it was, was definitely a coercion <laughs> into, hey. Just a on. little bit. I signed <laughs> you up. Our first game is next week kind of thing. There was a little bit of that. Oh, know? by the way, you were on two teams, not just one. So. Correct. You know, dive right into it, but uh, it really did. It was the boost that I needed to, to deal with some of the stress and getting out there on the rink and embodying some people. So, but not only that, but playing with my kids, just getting out and having the time to just unwind and relax with them. So nice. Yeah. So you did reference your family, and I know you're 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 big in the family. So talk a little bit about, a bit about your family and uh, what goes on in the uh, Gutierrez household. Uh, a lot of dirty diapers right now. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I have a, a son who's four years old, my daughter is two, um, and we have two dogs as well, they're 12 and 13. So uh, a lot of it is just kind of taking walks, coming home, getting dinner ready, and then uh, making sure you spend time with them. Um, you don't want them to get the worst of you when you're exhausted, sure. so you really make sure that you spend just quality time with them. Nice. Playing with them, shut off the TV, put some music on, and just dance. Nice. My, daughter, my daughter and son love to dance. So. I love it. Yeah, we rock out. <laughs> so what has been your biggest hurdle or biggest challenge since transferring from the insurance industry to the mortgage industry? Um, biggest hurdle was just uh, learning the industry, okay. getting to know everything, you know, just becoming more competent with it and um, just really hunkering down and, and focusing on what I need to do to be successful. And um, you know, coming from the insurance industry, it was, it was a little easier transition. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be because it's a lot of the same thing. Rules, regulations, just understand what you can and can't do. Um, but the struggle is just, just learning, you know. But once you understand what you have to do, it, it got easier. So. Okay. And if there's a, a youngster out there in the neighborhood watching the show who thinks, I want to grow up and be just like Vince, I want to grow up and be a loan officer. What would your advice be to them on how to prepare themselves best for a role like you, you play in this company? Uh, plan to just dive deep into the industry. Learn the different ins and outs of what's going on. Um, coming with a little bit of a realtor background, I kind of had a, a, an understanding of how the industry operates. So learning the mortgage side was was uh, you know was it was challenging, but I, I was able to bring my previous experience and just learn it. So you know, find some interest that you have. Maybe you know, if you want to get into investing in properties, learn that. Um, if you want to learn about just 
how the market works. It's, it's good to understand finance a little bit, but you really just got to deep dive deep into it to really kind of immerse yourself in this world. Okay. Yeah. And I, they don't know, the people in the neighborhood don't know, but we do. We know that you're bilingual yep. and you're Spanish. Um, talk a little bit about the opportunity that being bilingual and helping people that may not necessarily get the help from someone else or may not necessarily be serviced as well as, as you can being bilingual. So being bilingual has been huge. Um, a lot of times these people feel like they, they, they're signing things that they don't really understand. So by me kind of breaking things down and explaining it to them in, in Spanish, it's, it's been really helpful. Um, they're extremely grateful and, and it's, it's really satisfying to, to be able to serve a community that's, that needs this kind of help. Um, I always look at it as, what if that was my mom and dad buying the property? You know, they bought some homes back in the day and it makes me wonder, you know, where did they understand fully what they were jumping mm -hmm. into? Did they fully get that, you know, all the information and disclosures and understanding? So I approach these people as if it was my mom and dad. So I make sure I put the time and effort with, with each of those clients. I like it. I like it. And, you know, what has been your favorite part of the environment? And for people in the neighborhood that don't know our environment here, there's literally 15 to 20 people uh, back in the, in the space where Vince works. So he went from being the new guy to now being someone that people look to for a little bit of advice, especially on certain programs that you've mastered. You know, what's your favorite part of being someone who is looked up to and, and, and treated like a leader? Uh, that's exactly it. Being, being treated like a leader, having the respect and confidence of my peers. I mean, we all strive to be the best that we can. And the fact that I feel like I've kind of, you know, reaching that point, there's always room to grow. But the fact that I'm, you know, kind of at this point where I can wear this belt and be proud of it, um, you know, it's <laughs> it's great. It's great. Um, I'm sure, you know, you guys probably thought there was a little bit of um, promise with me in the beginning, but to reach this point, I think is a shocker for you know, not a shocker, but like I knew it all along. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it all along. So it's it's been great though. It's uh, I love helping people. Uh, anybody who knows me knows that for a fact that, uh, you know, I do a lot of volunteer work. Mm -hmm. um, I do it with you guys and even at my previous job with the United Way, um, or when I was volunteering at the United Way. So, okay. you know, just helping people and being able to, to really spread my knowledge to them is, is amazing. So, All right. Yeah. What is, uh, we're not going to talk about money and how much money you make, but what are some of your goals for 2022? here at Envoy and, and, and you know, in your personal life? Um, so personal goals is to be able to help others um, and really double my production. Okay. So like you had mentioned before, it's, it's knowing your capacity and then shooting past it. Okay. So the fact that I can um, get past that point is, is one of my goals, obviously, okay. to do better. Every year you just got to do better, right? Yeah. Like, better for yourself and better for your family and the community. So um, outside goals is really to continue doing the second Saturdays and making sure that, you know, it goes on and we can we can do more for the community than just, you know, hey, what can we do to help you buy a house? What can we help you to buy that house and then improve your community that you're buying in? So, I like it. Yeah. And since you've been here seven months, eight months, right? Yeah, eight, eight, yeah. Do you have a favorite transaction? Like, is there anyone that sticks out to you where you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah? I mean, obviously, the, the one that made me the most money, but no, <laughs> right. but no, uh, honestly, it's uh, helping my friends. Okay. So uh, I just finished a refi for somebody's dad. Um, I also helped them with their refi, and lot and kind of just helping them through the process and getting it through um, is a huge value to me. But also working with some of my best friends, so yeah. helping them purchase their house and making it a smooth transaction where everybody's happy was was really it's satisfying to know that like yeah I, I can do this and I can do this really well and especially when it's your friends you don't want to mess those up so nice yeah so thank you for coming on to Mr. Mortgage's Neighborhood hopefully you'll have the title belt next month as well we'll have you back give a little update and you can make fun of everybody that you beat exactly I look forward awesome. to it thank you thanks, thanks for, for having me